One of the keys to exporting is understanding what your capabilities are and doing an internal analysis of your capabilities and then matching it up to the markets that maybe specifically fit to your products. Somebody once told me that chances are if you have a product you're selling here in the U.S., somebody in another country is going to want that product also. So I've always taken that advice and also 95% uh, of the consumers, the world's consumers, live outside of the United States. So put those two things together and that gives you a lot of opportunity to sell your products outside of the U.S. Are you a Michigan food or agribusiness firm interested in or new to exporting? The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development's International Marketing Program can provide a variety of guidance and services to help food and agribusiness firms in Michigan evaluate their potential and get started with exporting. If you're a Michigan food and ag company that's interested in pursuing and looking at the opportunities within export, uh, there's a number of factors that a company should consider. Uh, kind of the first area that we look at is has the company been successful within the domestic market? Uh, have they established sales uh, in Michigan and surrounding states? And do they really know where their market fits, if they're a retail food service ingredient, and who their key customers are for that product? Uh, certainly a lot of that knowledge and information can also be useful as you're entering the export market. Uh, kind of another key area is if the company is uh, willing and able to commit additional resources to enter the export market. Uh, and that's a very important part. Um, companies need to be able to commit really two main areas, uh, financial and staff. A uh, company would need to be able to commit at least a portion of one person's time uh, to meet and look at the export opportunities, both uh, from finding potential markets and buyers to doing research, uh, to looking at the logistics of exporting the product. Uh, and kind of along those lines too is the financial. Are they able to uh, commit dollars and modify their packaging or their label as required by many countries. Uh, that's another key area uh, that companies would have to be willing to do. Uh, certainly, uh, many companies start in Canada and even with Canada, a company must uh, spend the money to have their label changed, uh, even to enter an export market like Canada. And another uh, area, companies have to be able to make sure that they have enough production capacity and or the ability to increase their p capacity uh, to produce more. Certainly if a buyer asks um, and places an order, a company wants to make sure that they can produce that order in a timely fashion. Otherwise it, it may um, hinder them being able to get export sales. Uh, and then finally, uh, kind of looking at it um, from a holistic company perspective, it has to really be part of the company's goals and strategic plan if they really want to effectively begin exporting. Uh, they need to make sure that everyone from the owner, the management, uh, all the way down to production is on board uh, with getting into the export market because certainly there are uh, changes that would need to be made um, in how product is packaged and labeled to meet uh, some export uh, buyers needs and country requirements. Certainly uh, there's a lot of opportunity in export and we certainly encourage companies to look at it as part of their uh, whole company strategy to increase their sales um, and increase their in economic impact here in Michigan uh, in the food and ag industry. Working closely with the Michigan Department of Ag um, and utilizing some of the FAS programs will help not only fund the, the startup but also get all the background information um, that you need going into each market. So they're a great resource to utilize. Before we actually begin to do any exporting, we had to have our foundation of where we were going, what we were looking to export, the how-tos through the Department of Agriculture and here in the state of Michigan, also working with the Food Export Association, we began to learn and were basically taught and instructed. The whole process in deciding to export is one that you have to think about it, come up with a plan, and just, you may not know all the answers right away, 
and you'll, you'll get started and you'll sort of learn as you go along. The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development's International Marketing Program has a number of services that we can provide to companies once they decide they want to look at export markets. Certainly one of the key first areas is uh, export seminars uh, which provide education to companies as they begin to look at exporting. We also have webinars that are available free of charge through one of our partner organizations and all of the export seminars and webinars have the ability to educate companies and staff that may be looking at exporting the fir for the first time. Uh, once a company is interested in finding a potential market, we have a great service called Market Builder, which we work with one of our partner organizations uh, to provide that service, and that is really where companies can look at a potential market, see if there's opportunity for their product within that market, and what buyers or what segment within that country might be interested in purchasing that product. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about what it takes to enter the export market. Do you think you're ready for the next step? The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development's International Marketing Program offers a variety of services to assist you in your export venture and is eager to speak with you.